Okay, welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, I spent years honing and refining the light single jigging technique for Fluke, sharing that knowledge with friends, family, and you guys on the channel and through private lessons. That's still the most optimal method under most circumstances if you just want to catch a Mesa Keeper Fluke. But for the past couple of seasons, my favorite way to catch fluke from shore, by far, has been with the hard jerk bait, especially from the open beach. The main jerkbait I use in the surf is the Lucky Craft Pointer 78DD, and I'm tuning them to slowly float. Roughly 4 to 6 inches per second is the float rate you're looking for. To do that, you have to test each bait in calm water and use different size hooks and hook configurations and split rings to get them tuned perfectly. I'll leave links to the hardware I'm using in the description below, along with all the rest of my gear. In terms of hooks, on jerk base with three hook hangers, like the Duo Realis and Mega Bass 110, I run three owner inline singles. On base like this Pointer 78 that comes with two hook hangers, I start off with two inline singles, but if I'm missing a lot of fish, I will swap the belly hook to a treble. In this case, I'm using the Gammy G Finesse medium heavy wire and a size 5 or 6 depending on each individual base buoyancy. Going belly treble and tail single is a good compromise. Your landing ratio is still very high and you're not maiming or blinding every other fish that comes up to swipe at your jerkbait. Here you can actually see this fish follow the jerkbait in and eat it if you watch closely. I am completely obsessed with this bite. 
and hopefully the footage reflects how much fun it is to have a fluke slam your jerkbait on the pods, trying to rip the rod out of your hand. Oh, yeah. Now, if you think about it, jerk bait is in many ways the polar opposite of a jig. When you pull on a jig, it rises. When you pull on a jerk bait, it dives deeper. At rest on slack line, a jig sinks, while my jerk bait either suspends or slowly rises to the surface. It really does present a completely different set of triggers for a fluke, and I believe it's catching fish that might otherwise turn down a jig. The rod I'm using is the Daiwa Steve's AGS 7.6 medium medium light. It has the perfect action to both work a jerkbait properly and land precariously hooked fish on small hooks. From my quarter ounce single jigs to these finesse jerkbaits, if you guys are looking to treat yourself to the ultimate light tackle fluke spinning rod, there's really nothing better on the market to throw your money at than this Steve's AGS 7 6 foot rod. Oh, come on. Oh! Here I'll walk you through a typical cast retrieve. Make a long cast, work the bait down to depth. The Pointer 78 DD gets to about 8 feet on a long cast. Then snap and jerk the rod tip off slack line. This is very important. You start with slack and you end with slack. That's what gives a jerk bait its hallmark slashing, left, right, dead stop, left, right kind of cadence. When the bait starts hitting the bottom, give it longer pauses to float and more upward jerks of the rod tip. My line setup is YGK Upgrade X8 and PE1, a lazy Alberto knot to 10 pound Sunline Sniper leader, and a decoy snap to the bait itself. For the reel, I'm using a Shimano Vanford 3000 MHG. Any 2500 to 3000 size will work. The Vanford is still the best workhorse reel, in my opinion, if you're fishing light saltwater stuff. Okay, I hope you guys got a sense of how much fun this surf jerkbait bike can be. I know I'm rather subdued in these videos, but 
believe me, I was having the time of my life, even catching shorts on that pointer 78. If you guys ever get bored of snatching fluke off the single jig, give this a shot. I guarantee it's the most fun you can have with the rod in your hand. Alright, I think that's my fourth keeper for the day and the end of my trip. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.